Highway 98 is back open tonight after a crash closed it for six hours this morning. And drivers had to be rerouted and it prompted us to check in on a road project to the north of 98 that in the future could alleviate traffic. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, after years of setbacks and delays, LDOT is slated to finish that route in a couple of years now. Yeah, that's right, Greg and Kim. It's a two lane east to west corridor. Years ago, people referred to it as uh, this project as the new 98. Aldot is calling it State Route 158 and says once it's completed, it will help with the flow of traffic. Anthony Waters sat in traffic for six hours today, waiting on Highway 98 to reopen after a big rig crashed into some power poles. I didn't know it was going to take this long, but you know, none we can do about it. LDOT spokesperson James Gordon says drivers were calling their traffic management center asking how to be rerouted. And really the only way was to get it back to I-10 and you know it's a drive from where that was happening to I-10. State Route 158 that's currently under construction north of Highway 98 could help alleviate situations like this in the future. It'll connect Sarah Land to Mississippi. It's going to take time and it's being done in phases. Already a lot of time has passed. The project began back in 2007 to address the safety concerns of what people dubbed Bloody 98. A new four lane highway was supposed to be built north of the existing Highway 98, but the project hit major roadblocks as concerns grew about sediment getting into Mobile's drinking water supply, prompting regulatory and legal action. For roughly a decade, it was a road to nowhere, but in 2018, Aldot, after some redesigns, resumed construction. The, the litigation led to good things. LDOT is now using a better plan to make sure that, you know, these all of our roads are built uh, to certain standards so that the environment is protected. And Gordon says once it's done, it'll help with traffic. And that's a, an additional route to US 98, which takes that, that burden off of US 98, all that traffic off of it. Um, and that's not going to be completed more than likely until 2024. Aldot says it's costing more than $100 million to build these uh, two lanes. To make it four lane would cost an additional $95 million, but Aldot says it hasn't secured funding yet to make it a four lane road. In Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.